So I'm going to start with a telescopic arm and I'm going to drop the thread on to the reel, the holder, and then I'm going to go in to number two. So I'll come up into number one. So I'm going from behind to the front and then letting it go through that tension guide at the side. So I've gone from behind to in front. So from behind to in front and then come across and cut it into number two. So once we've gotten to that bit, we're going actually further down onto the machine to the tension guides, which are here. So then we'll take it through the top tension guide. So there's my thread. And I'm taking it from the back to the front. So from the back, so behind and through to the front. Next one, through your tension guides. Now what you're listening for at this point is a click. So you're wanting to hear a click. And that's your tension, that's your thread going through your tension discs. So if you hold at the top and hold at the bottom, make sure it goes in. So when your foot pedal's down and your tension's engaged, you'll hear it click. I'm just going to lift them back up so we've got no tension as we go through. Right, we'll get into the, the fun bit now. So we're going to go down to the loopers. So we're going to follow number four all the way down. So far is the blue. Just get both cameras on so you can see from both sides. So you can see from both sides. Now what we're going for, what we're looking for, is the blue line that comes all the way down. So we're going from far. I followed it through from the tension guide and we're going to go to the next number. So we've gone from four, now we're going to go from to five and then we're going to go across to six and seven and then round to eight. And then number nine is down here. So what we do, push that across. So push that across and it, what it'll bring is the mechanism out up at the top. So bring that right across so it clicks and it'll keep that out and into place. So I'm gonna zoom in now so you can see it a little bit better. I'll just zoom in with this side so you can see as well. So the bit that you're actually looking for is this bit here. And what you've got to do is you've got to tuck your thread behind it. So the picture that that one is referring to is the picture here, so number 10. So you're hooking your thread around that piece which is that piece here and pulling it then through to thread it through that under looper. So I'm going to try, it might take a couple of attempts. So I've got it threaded up onto number eight and that's all in place. So there is a little bit of tension there. So I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm going to hook it around as best I can and I've put it back into my tweezers now to pull that thread 
in the direction across. So now I'm going to take the end of my thread and I've got it in my tweezers because it's hard to get your fingers in there, although these tweezers are not the best. It's not gripping my, fabric, my thread very well. I've got that in there and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to thread through that hole. So I've pushed a good centimetre through so that there's plenty for me to grab it at the other side. So I'm then going to grab that at the other side, lift up. I'm just going to zoom back out so you can see. So that actually is threaded. So what I'm going to do now with this thread, I'm going to put it under, it's going to go up towards the back basically. So I'm going to put it under my foot and up towards the back. Now this mechanism is still out to the right side. So the instructions here, number 11, says to just push it back into place. So I'm just going to push in there back into place. Now for this, I did take out the stitch finger. And so the stitch finger actually slots back in at this point here. So just there, that pushes back in place it's optional if you have your stitch finger in or not so that pulls out and pushes back into place so that's number four threaded okay so we're going to go back up and we're going to go to number three so that under loopers always get threaded first so we're going from right to left basically So again, you're going to drop your thread on and work in exactly the same way. So I'm dropping my thread on to number three. I'm taking my thread from the back through to the front and then across to number two and just letting it hook in there in place. So if I just zoom that in so you can see, so from the back, through to the front and then clicking across into number two. Then we're going to come back down just before the tensions and the same as we've done for number four is we're going to go from the back through to the front. So from the back through to the front, bring it down through that thread tension dial So we're through that tension dial and then we're working our way down and we're following now the green. So if I bring this down again so that we can see. So we're following the green this time. So we're, we're in far at the minute. So we're going to go to five. Then we're going to go across to six. I'm just going to go a bit closer so you can see. There we go. So we're in five right now, hooked around there. And then we're going to come across to six. Now with six, you can see it's like a double guide. But we've got blue dots on both and we've got green dot just on this top one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hook it around the first one. So hook it around just around that first one because that's got your green indicator on there. So that's number six. And then we're going up to number seven. Hands in the way. So up to number seven over here. through number seven there. Just hope that one else would miss up. Up. 
So hook up to number seven, and then what we're going to is on the top, this one here. So I'm going to move it across so it'll be easier to see. So this is the one that we're looking for to thread up next. So if we move it to about there, you should be able to see from both positions. Threading up. So we're going from seven. Now I'm going to try and thread again just by using the tweezers. So I've got about a centimetre's worth of thread and I'm going up and through that hole. So through the hole, feeding that through. So I've got a bit at the other side that I can grab then with my tweezers. So I've got that. And again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it so it's underneath my actual foot. So I'm just gonna take it round past the blade at the front. So it's sitting now under the foot towards the back. So that is your under loopers done. Ta-da! So we're gonna zoom back out and we're gonna go for the threads. So, so back up to the thread. So if I show you at the top with the thread, so we're doing exactly the same. We're going to go for your right needle. So you're going to drop your thread onto the back. In the same way that you have done for the other two, you're gonna go from the back to the front. So from the back to the front, and then across and click on to number two. And then with your guide here at the front, you're gonna go again from the back to the front, get my tweezers, and then follow it through that tension guide and down to where the needles are. So we're on tension guide at the minute, and then we're coming down to number four. The thread. So pull the thread through so it's going through your tension and then it's coming down to the pink far. So you're going to follow the far. So you're going to come across and you're going to keep coming across. So you're following the pink guide and then you're going to go up and you're going to go round and then you're going to go to the right hand side because it's going to go into your right needle. So I'm going to lift my needles up so they're as high as can be and then I'm going to attempt to thread them. So you want a nice sharp edge on your cotton and you want, if you're going for it with your tweezers, again you want about a centimetre so that you can push it through so you've got plenty to grab at the other side. So that's that one. And the same for the other threads, you just pull through to the, to the back. So pull that through and go towards the back. So I'm just gonna, now it's threaded and it's towards the back, I'm just gonna run it round and underneath that foot so they are all underneath and then I'm going to do the same for thread number one I'm going to thread in the same way as I've just done my other needle so drop the thread onto the back come through from the back cross to number two and let that sit in there and then for my actual guide 
at the top i'm going from the front from the back sorry to the front so it's all number one to number four at this point are all the same so you're going in from the back to the front across to number two and then from the back to the front and through your tension guides so when we come to your tension guides now so this one so this is your left needle so we're actually following the orange so orange up here orange on your dial orange here following the orange round so we're going to go down underneath and over and then we're going to keep this one to the left and it's going to go through the left needle so if i show you there zoom in so i'm going to try and do it again with my tweezers because sometimes it's easier and if you have got problems with your hand you can get re reverse tweezers so you're actually when you're pushing through your, your hand is actually relaxed um i'll find some so you, you see what i mean so there are the tweezers they've it's gone through and i'm just gonna run it underneath my foot again to make sure that they're all under and in place which they are so now that's me threaded but rather than switch it on and go for it what i'm now gonna do is i'm gonna zoom out so you can see I'm going to close up the front and move around. So what I'm going to do first, before I even start, before I even switch it on, is I'm going to get some calico or some thread, whatever. Um, but before that, I'm just going to, with by hand, so just by hand without switching it on. Let's zoom in again. So just by hand, I'm going to zoom in to check that it's all knitting up. So I'm putting my foot pedal down, my tension discs are engaged them, and then by hand, I'm just going to turn the dial towards me. see there that it's starting to knit up and stitch in place so I know at the minute so there it's just starting to knit up in place so I know now at the minute you can see the thread going onto the stitch finger that it's looking all right so far so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some material so I still haven't switched it on and I'm gonna run some material through so I'm just gonna pop it up to where the needles are bring it back down and then again by hand towards me let it pull the material through and I want to see that it's gonna take the material in and the stitch starting to work so now I can see that it is threaded and it is not doing anything naughty so I'm gonna go for it now and I'm gonna stitch stitch through and see if it takes it and see how the stitch looks Stitch is looking pretty good. I've got there. Let it zoom in. So it's looking pretty good there. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to leave that as is. And yeah, that's that one done.